Hey, hi friends, this is Bakapa. In this SpecFlow Selenium C Sharp tutorial series, I will discuss how to perform the data driven testing in SpecFlow Selenium C Sharp. So, there are multiple ways we can perform the data driven testing in SpecFlow Selenium C Sharp. Uh, the first way is we can pass the test data in the step level, and the second way is we can pass the test data from the by using the examples keyword, and also we can use the data tables there. Right. So, in this tutorial, I will discuss how to pass the test data from the step level. I will navigate to the Visual Studio now. I will open the feature one dot feature file. So, in this scenario, what we are doing is in the line number seven, we are opening the browser. So, currently, this code is written in the hooks. So, we are not doing anything in this particular step. The line number eight, we are entering the URL, and in the line number nine. We are searching for the test stock in the youtube.com. So that's it. Then finally, we are closing the browser from the hooks. So if I go to this particular step definition, and this particular value is hard coded in the test script class, right? So how we can pass this particular test data from the scenario? That means the step level. How we can pass the this particular test data from the step level, right? From the steps basically so we'll discuss this this part so what i will do we will create the new feature file and then we will implement the logic for passing the test data from the uh, scenario steps i will create the one new uh, feature file i will select the spec flow on the left side after selecting the spec flow you will see the future file for spec flow and here you can provide the Future file name. Here I'm providing data driven testing dot future. Then add it. So once you got the future file, so simply I will go to the future one dot future file. I'll copy the first scenario into the data driven testing future file. So here I'll modify the future name as data driven testing. And I will use the same name, same name for the scenario as well. Then I will keep the two steps that is a line number seven and eight as it is. Then I will create the new step for the line number nine, right? So I will delete this last part. Then I will parameterize, parameterize test data by writing in a single quotes. Here I will write testers talk by Bakapa. So that's it. If you look at the step uh, first, that is a given, open the browser and step number two when enter the URL. These two steps are already implemented in the future one step definitions class, but the third step is not yet implemented. If you look at this then, and also you can see this particular thing here, right? So now we have to implement this third step. So I will create a, another step definition class for this thing. I will copy the future one step definition class and I'll paste it inside the step definitions folder. Then I will rename the class as data driven testing step definitions. And simply I will remove the hyphen copy as well dot cs. I will open the data driven testing step definition class and I will delete all the steps which are not required. Then after that I will specify the class name as data driven testing step definitions. Then simil similarly I will specify the constructor name as class name. So that's it. So we have the one driver variable that is a web driver variable. So whenever hooks class got executed automatically we will get the driver in this particular test steps class right so what i will do now i will go back to the data driven testing dot feature file i will simply create the step i will i mean basically i will implement the step definition for this particular step that is a step number third i will right click on this feature file and i will say define steps then i will select the copy to clipboard 
then again I will go back to the data driven testing step definitions then I will paste it here so that's it so if you look at the line number 70 so it is accepting the one argument from the step this particular step right so I will give the argument argument name as search key that's it so already we have identified the search text box in the YouTube I will go back to the future one step definition class and I'll copy this part code and I'll paste it here so I will remove this hard-coded values then simply I will pass this particular parameter argument in the seven keys that's it guys so this is very simple how you can implement the steps by passing the test data in a steps right so what I have done I have created a feature file and here I have written the one step and from this particular step I'm passing the test data as a testers talk by backup ion right so after that we have created a data driven testing step def definitions class inside this we have implemented the, that particular step now I will build this particular project now so build got succeeded I will go to I will go to the test explorer if you see here so there is another scenario called data driven testing and if I go to the data driven testing feature file so this is a scenario name right so data driven testing so let's execute the scenario now so what it should do is it has to open the browser from the hooks and it will enter the URL then it will search with the testers stock by backup right then automatically it will close the browser from the hooks so I will execute the scenario now it has opened the browser now and also entered the URL now it will search with the tester stock by backup then finally it will close the browser so that's it guys so this is working fine and we can pass any test data whatever the test data you want you can pass it from here you can just pass just backup and this particular test data should be passed into the your script and same keyword should be entered in the YouTube search text box let's execute one more time so this is how you can perform data driven testing by passing the test data at step level now it will enter the value in the search text box and it's searching with the backup ion then it is closing the browser so this is how we can pass the test data at a step level and perform the data driven testing in the next tutorial i will cover how to pass the test data from the examples keyword by using the example key examples keyword how we can pass the multiple sets of test data to the scenario we will discuss and also we will see, we'll see what are data tables and how to work with the data tables to perform the data driven testing so same thing you can try at your end so how we can perform the data driven testing and how you can pass the test data at the step level and click on like button and also subscribe to this particular channel and thank you so much for watching this tutorial